Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Journaling with Balance. And this is where we do a journal page um, using the yin yang drawing guides from my Etsy shop. Can you even see those? Let's see, there we go. Um, you get a set of three when you buy them. The link for the listing in my Etsy shop is in the video description. Um, the past couple of episodes I filmed of this, I never seem to have a little one, <laughs> but here's the little one. Um, this is about a four by six sheet of paper. Let's see, can you even see that on camera? And it fits very nicely with room to spare. Um, and then you get two larger sizes in the set, sold as a set. Today I think we're gonna use the little one. I pulled out one of my little small um, junk journals, fabric covered junk journals. If you hear barking, that's uh, my daughter's dog barking at the neighbors. She doesn't like the neighbors and their truck. <laughs> so anyway, so I just opened to this random page and I think we're gonna work here. I have this little plastic heart from a Southwest Airlines cocktail skewer pick. Um, I cut the little heart off. I've got a random scrap of yarn. I've got some um, digital download prints that I cut down and I've got a plain piece of paper. These are experiments with embossing using one of the stencils from my Etsy shop. Um, again, I'll put the link for this stencil in the video description if you're interested. I've got over a hundred stencils in my shop. So um, anyway, um, so I might use one of these. I also have a little dish of, these are the little paper things off of tea bags. There's a couple of bread tags in here. This is stencil waste. Um, from cutting the stencils from my Etsy shop. The manufacturer sends me the waste that I also use in some of my art. So we're gonna use a variety of th these things and I'm gonna get started. I'll speed forward through the process and I'll be back at the end.
Okay, can I say I love this page? <laughs> so here's our latest page in our series of Journaling with Balance, working with the yin-yang shape to symbolize uh, balance in life. It's not all about the light or the dark. It's a balance in between. It's not all about the happy or the sad. It's the balance. Of, you get the idea, right? Um, and working out, um, as I've said in a lot of different things I've done here on YouTube, working out our issues in a creative, healthy way is good for your mental and emotional well-being, in my opinion. And so working... Um, with these symbols to remind myself that it is all about balance and it's not about getting stuck on one side or the other is a good thing for me is a good thing so i think i hope it gives you some idea of some creative things you can do um, to work through whatever is going on in your life um, emotionally physically creatively um, and i love i didn't have any idea this is where this page was going to go i don't know why the jar needs to be there or the shapes coming out of it or i don't know I have no idea, but I love it. So anyway, this is what I came up with. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. All the relevant links are in the video description. Don't forget to show um, all of your favorite creatives here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art group some love and support. Um, however that you can, even if it's by like, sh liking, sharing, and subscribing their videos, um, but also if they have an Etsy shop or a PayPal tip jar or Patreon or a YouTube membership, as I do, support that. I encourage you to do that. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget, of course, to like, share, and subscribe. And the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.